the role that engineering leadership has to play in developer productivity starts with making sure that the things we're asking developers to do are worth their time. I don't think that people are always taking product fit and feature set and what the users actually want to pay for into account when they're asking developers to do stuff. If what we want is developer experience, why we want it from a company or enterprise perspective is we want to make it fast and safe to go from idea or, or concept to customer. We are pushing security left more and more. We have this powerful AI friend who's coming with us on this development journey. As a manager, you're being asked to go to meetings and make architecture decisions. AI can really be, how can I quickly get a handle on what's happening so I can still guide and mentor and do some of those things that managers are required to do. When I jump into VS Code on a Sunday and I have an hour to fill Copilot chat is really useful for me to get back up to speed with my existing code base and also to ask questions to how I can get stuff done. So it is really like unlocking my creativity in that moment. 15 years ago, we had teams, we had test teams, we had build team. Today we're like, well, we don't need that. We'll put in CI, CD and let the developer work with it. So that's like a whole mindset change and security is just like the next element that's coming in, but we need to do it in the right ways. It's not the CISO that's responsible for security, it's all of us. We are going to embrace AI, but we have to be really, really focused on how do you mitigate that risk with security and really bake that into the DNA of what we do. Trust is hard to earn and easy to lose. The AI-assisted autofix for vulnerable code, that happens potentially before you even get to a review with another human being. There's a, a fix suggested for you right out of the gate. Uh, it's, it's hard to make it much easier to build in security as part of the workflow. If you don't have a proper AI strategy, you're gonna get left behind. Your competitors are gonna be able to move so much faster. There was a great study that came out from IDC recently that said for every dollar you invest in AI in your organization, you get $3.5 of return. That's massive. We changed fundamentally the way software development is being done. There is no going back from that. So if you don't embrace it now, you will be late. And every company wanna be a leader. Every company wants to be at the forefront of innovation, so every company should have an AI strategy from right now.